I made this bowl for a friend of mine that uh, was always harassing me that I should make him a bowl to eat his soup out of. So I made this bowl more or less as a gag. So he has something to uh, I tell him he can eat all the soup he wants if he eats it out of this bowl. Um, when my wife saw it, she decided she wanted one very similar to it. So although I don't particularly care for open segmented turnings, this is the design that she wants. Uh, of course there will be a maple base and there will be a uh, row of maple on the top just like on this bowl. Uh, so that's the project that I'm going to do next. She doesn't want walnut. She wants uh, bloodwood. So this is the bloodwood that I'm going to use. Um, now the only problem is this is only a quarter of an inch thick. So all the wood's going to have to be a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, this bowl uh, was three eighths of an inch thick. So I guess I'll put a faceplate on a waste block and cut out the base. The base has been glued to the waste block. I've had a lot of questions. How do I go about centering things like this? One of the easiest ways, the ring on the bottom we know is round. We just true this up round in the lathe so we know that's round. So we set this on here. The hickeys are numbered on the outside. So we go to number one and we push this all the way so that it is flush. These two are even. And over here at section number 13, which is exactly 180 degrees away, we measure what that distance is. The distance is 0.428. So we take half of that, which would be 214. We set the set this for 214. Give or take a couple thousands. That's 213.5. We lock it in place and then just push this in to that distance. And then we can work our way around, right around the, the ring. So about 213, yeah. 213. 213. 13. We have it centered. Uh, next thing I'll do is I'll draw a line around here. I'll put a gum band around the uh, bloodwood and I put this back in place and put little blocks here to hold it while the glue sets. Okay, now I put a gum band around the bloodwood, recentered this. I have an alignment mark right here, so I know that's exactly where I took it off. Next, we're going to take these little tiny blocks. These are oak. We're going to put a little hot melt glue out here and stick them to the side. You can use three, four, but you have to watch you don't get the glue too close to the maple or you actually glue this fast and when you go to take it off it will already be stuck together. So we have to keep the glue out here a little ways. Put a little glue on here. on there. Okay. 
We'll continue that on around and we'll lift it off, put glue on the bloodwood, put it back together, put it in the ring clamp. Now that we have these little blocks glued on here, we can lift this off the glue on. I've never used this before, this tight bond translucent wood glue. But I'm going to try it on this and we'll see how well it works. So I'll remove this, put glue on there with my finger, put this back in, clamp it up. Then I'll take these uh, wet pipe cleaners and clean out all the joints. There's the first two rows glued on. First one solid bloodwood, second row is solid maple. Now we'll start with the design. I'll show you ring number three. There's ring number three in a Seg Easy plate. There's all 11 rows stacked together. I'll leave that dry overnight. Tomorrow we can turn it. The bowl's in the leg, ready to be turned. What I did different this time is I put sanding sealer and the finish in the holes to keep them from having to do double sanding. As you see, it's, it slops out all over the place. So now this is rough sanded. So after this dries real well, I'll sand this to a finish and then we'll trim this base down much, much smaller. That's around three inches now. It's got to go down to around two. So this will make a sharp turn. And then we'll put uh, sanding sealer and finish on the uh, entire bowl. That's one coat of sanding sealer. I'll put on at least one more. There's a shot of the bowl with a finish on it. Uh, we'll cut this down to an inch or less and cut it off the handsaw, put it in the cold jaws. Now we'll finish it off with the handsaw. I used this glue, this translucent wood glue by Titebon. It sets real fast. Within 10 to 15 seconds, the pieces coming in contact, you can't move them anymore. So we'll see how the bowl holds up. This is the finished bowl. 241 pieces. Um, blood, wood, and maple. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching.